The first time Central Health is using a mobile clinic to bring health care to people who either cannot afford it or live too far away from a doctor's office. The property tax you pay in Travis County helps to fund Central Health. KXAN's Eugene Cho found out why this is a much needed service for many. Central Health tells me they expect to see about 16 people a day in this trailer. The trailer will be in more rural areas of Travis County, like here in Creedmoor. About 15 miles southeast of Austin. If you need to see a doctor... Most people just didn't go. I know we've had several residents didn't even have the transportation to get to, to town. So they did without. That's now changing. Voila, here it is. Central Health Mobile Clinic will come to Creedmoor twice a week, bringing vaccines and preventive care to those who need it. They say even if you're uninsured or underinsured, you won't be turned away. They'll be able to do some lab on here and a number of tests to help you stay healthy, or if you're not healthy, to help you get well. Well, you know, flu shots and things like that, the different type of care that you would normally neglect and not go to a doctor for, Hopefully they'll come and, and take advantage of it. The mobile clinic will start seeing patients next Monday. In Travis County, Eugene Cho, KXAN News. We'll post at KXAN.com the different locations this clinic will visit. Here's the importance of serving eastern Travis County. About 15% of people living in Travis County are uninsured. Compare that to the 34% in Colony Park who are uninsured. Meanwhile, Almost half of the people living in Creedmoor are uninsured or get public insurance. In Travis County as a whole, that number is 36 percent. UT's Dell Medical School Integral Care and Community Care Collaborative recently got a federal grant to bring a mobile health care clinic to people who are homeless. The money will pay for supplies, evaluations, and a mobile team of full and part-time employees. Medical professionals who already work with people who are homeless say that a lot of them aren't showing up in clinics and then they wind up in emergency rooms for problems. That grant money is supposed to last for five years.